Hey truth seekers, light workers, and anybody else who fits into any other category. So, and but all the same, ultimately, you know, so, you know, and it's all an ego trip thinking you fit into something. Um, I actually had one of my clients say to me <clears throat> last week that she doesn't use the word light workers anymore because everything is light and the dark is there to illuminate the light in you, which I completely get. But also I think that uh, if you're generating light, through your actions, through your words, through your thoughts, through your intentions, then that is kind of working light. So uh, I still use it. <laughs> anyway, uh, just wanted to make a quick video for you today uh, about something that I'm going through at the moment. And uh, if you follow really any sort of healing, uh, but particularly nutritional balancing, which is what I do and what I teach and most of my friends and whatever do it as well, um, that is going to make a bit of sense to you if you're following that. Uh, so I, uh, after Christmas, uh, kind of you get a bit naughty at Christmas, you kind of eat things you shouldn't. And so January, for a lot of people, has hit the ground running, uh, kind of roll into detox a bit, uh, up, up your diet, up your water intake, uh, improve maybe your meditation or your thinking. Um, and so about four days ago, I've been doing, doing all that in January, and then uh, I took my daughter to gymnastics on a Saturday morning, uh, yeah, which is what did I do? four days ago. And I went there and I thought, oh gosh, I'm getting ill. I went all cold, and I started to sh shiver slightly, and I thought, ah, oh. you know, there's a lot of viruses around at the moment. Uh, after Christmas, everyone's like seriously unhealthy the general population um, and I thought I'm getting ill and I kind of sat in gymnastics for an hour watching my daughter uh, uh, just feeling cold and kind of worrying a bit about what it was was it flu was it cold weather anyway left gymnastics came home had lunch had a bit of a lie down and then had a little sleep and then as soon as I got up all of a sudden metallic taste in the mouth Mine started do, 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 racing a bit. Um, started getting itchy head, uh, a bit of a headache, and I thought, okay. So what happened is a metal, probably copper, maybe lead, had been released into my system. Um, I, I, I've actually been confused about copper and lead in the past. I, I've, I've thought I've been detoxing copper when I've been detoxing lead. And so it'll be interesting to see my next hair test. Um, but anyway, I've been detoxing something for four days. Uh, and it's weird because like detoxifying metal isn't, or, or mineral like copper, it traditionally isn't very nice. But the, the thing with copper or some of the metals is they stimulate you. So you kind of feel like you've drunk a load of coffee <laughs> all day. And so it is tough on your adrenal glands, but um, it's weird because I, I kind of, I kind of like it in a sick way. Um, I guess like, yeah, I mean, we, we kind of do like stimulation, don't we? But it's, it's important when you're going through these things to really not stimulate yourself in any other way, whether it be stress or caffeine or uh, you know, sugar or anything like that. So I've been doing that for four days. Um, and you always kind of feel a bit excited because it's happening. You think, okay, um, I've never actually myself had like a massive copper uh, dump before. Uh, dump's always a funny word, isn't it? A copper detox, shall I say. Um, I've had lots of metals come out. And I have had copper, uh, but I'm not one of these guys that ever really traditionally had a copper problem. Um, and I've never hit the roof with copper before. But maybe it's still there. Um, you know, I've, I've had a busy life the last, you know, 11, 12 years with children and, and jobs and that sort of thing. So, you know, I've been clearing out my, clearing my, my plate and getting, getting everything in order to, to detox more. So we'll see. Uh, it's, it's not a bad detox. It's kind of mild. Um, in, in fact, my colleague, uh, Lewis Rollins, made a video on mild copper detox and what to do so if you haven't watched that video do so lewis is a very informative and very nice guy and he runs a channel called deep healing space if you haven't checked it out uh so anyway well, what did i actually do to get this reaction I, this is what i wanted to, to actually say to you 
Um, so when I hit the ground running in January, I could clean my diet up. I was having vegetables three times a day. I, I don't buy into the needing 18 vegetables in every sitting, uh, which uh, some people do. They get that from the Nutritional Balancing Headquarters. Um, I kind of just eat lots of vegetables and concentrate on the ones that aren't too starchy, but I do have starchy as well. I, I, I clear all gluten out, uh, most sugar, well, all sugar, uh, try and get lots of rest. But the important thing for me, I think this time, was the mind. I have been positively thinking for a few months now. If you've watched my old videos about how to change your thinking in 21 days, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Um, the Power of Positivity is another one I've done. Uh, and changing your outlook. Bringing in fresh energy. Bringing energy down. Change your outlook. Think positively about your situation. What's the best person you can be? I've been doing that a lot. But also, when you sometimes think about how positive you could be, the best you, often fear comes into the heart or solar plexus if you doubt yourself. Now that's a good opportunity to deal with the fear. And I've also been doing that in January. Positive outlook. If something's bothering you about that outlook, go into it. What is it? Just be present with it. Breathe it out. Don't interact with it. Just see what it is. And it can often be released. So I've been doing that. That has caused a copper or lead or whatever detox. Could be mercury as well. Um, yeah. So mind, body, detox in the form of a near-infrared sauna. I've done a few of those this year. I'm not a daily man for that. I just, just can't handle it. Uh, I probably do two or three a week. Uh, and also coffee enemas. And so Bulletproof Coffee, I switched my coffee brand to Bulletproof Coffee. Doing them every other day since January the 1st. So that also, that combination is pretty much covering everything. Food, detox, mind, soul. And those things have kicked off a reaction, which is excellent. And so... Um, yeah, who knows what it is, but it's, it's, it's all good. So, one thing I haven't mentioned is supplements and what supplements had I done to start getting rid of copper. Uh, to be honest, uh, I've been doing this for nearly, well, 10 years plus now. And so I don't take supplements three times a day, I take them once a day in the morning. And I'm, I'll take digestive age with my food uh, and also calcium magnesium throughout the day, but I'll take my main supplements like kelp, uh, B vitamins, um, sometimes an adrenal supplement or thyroid supplement, a TNG. Uh, I'll take them all in the morning, but I'll take throughout the day with other food that I eat, uh, fish oils, if I'm gonna up my fish oils, as well as eating sardines, uh, calcium, magnesium, and uh, digestive aid. And so I didn't take that many. I didn't take that many. Maybe it's the stage I'm at, maybe I don't need to. Uh, but that just goes to show the, the power of all those things together and the body starts cleaning itself out. And that, my friends, is going to make you a better person, raise your frequency, be more open to your spirit, uh, your intuition, and what you need to do here in this life. So that's it today. I'm at nine minutes, so I'll try and keep them below 10 minutes. Uh, in 45 minutes, I'm going for a past life regression with a, uh, a lady that lives near me. And so maybe I will do a, um, a video on that and tell you how that went. Um, but I'm looking forward to it, it's, it's, it's gonna be good. Um, there's some funky stuff about my past, I think that hasn't been uh, revealed to me yet. Uh, my mum called me Phineas, uh, e even though she changed that to Will, like as a baby. Uh, I've never known why that is. And apparently with past life stuff, if you're called a strange name, uh, and no one understands why that could be linking up to something that you did in a past life. Phineas means oracle, and the only meaning of Phineas or the past history of Phineas I can find is basically a Jewish priest. So <laughs> we see how it goes. Anyway, guys, love you. Hope you're all doing all right. 
uh, keep strong. Uh, there's loads of energy hitting the planet at the moment, so we might all be start going a bit balmy in the mind. Keep grounded. Be healthy. Love one another. Be a light worker. And I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.